Here's Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. 512 on a Friday morning. Glad to have you with us on Carolina in the morning. Looking ahead to the weekend. By and large, lots of dry time to be had, but a couple of opportunities for showers. Best you check in with your WECT first alert weather app. But anything from errands to exercise, those may be taking part in the low tide run. I want to watch out for a few showers, but overall shenanigans. We'll call it since it's the St. Patrick's Day weekend looking pretty good. Even grilling looking pretty nice as well. St. Patrick's Day parade looks to be on the dry end too. Again, hope you'll join us uh, tomorrow for that parade kicks off at 11. Temp's going to be on the cool end partially because of the chance of some morning showers, but any lingering clouds going to really keep temperatures at bay too. So compared to this afternoon, when we're likely to see upper 70s and more so lower 80s, it's going to be quite the difference. The record, by the way, 88 set back in 1967. Trying to cool off, but I don't think we're going to fall much below the 60 degree mark. Risk of showers in some cases, other times dry. It's going to be one of those check and see type of scenarios. As this front pushes through a little later on, it's going to make the atmosphere a little more volatile, a little more susceptible to some developing showers. Just going to have to see how those all eventually unfold. And upper 60s to lower 70s, if we're lucky, come tomorrow. Note your wind shifting to the east, about five, anywhere close to 10 miles per hour, maybe at the most. Bob King, GMC First Alert Skycam, high atop the Murkison building. Look into the southeast, not bad, 60 degrees. Wilmington's actually the warm spot on the map, if you can believe it. Mostly clear skies overall, calm winds, dew points in the 50s, so it's comfortable, but in the days ahead, that dew point's going to tick up a little bit, but you touch on the muggy side overall. But boy, by and large, plenty of 70s and 80s to go along with it. The coast is going to be a few degrees cooler with the southwest breeze flows. You know, the water temp's still in the 50s, and that cooler air over the ocean is going to have its biggest impact close to the coast. Here comes the front pushing through, and that's going to mean 70s and 60s. Variable clouds, of course, through the night. We'll scrutinize cloud and future radar here in just a moment, but notice really not falling below that 60 degree threshold uh, during the course of the overnight warming up trying to at least first thing in the morning 70s likely at best in the afternoon but there are going to be some spots that will be stuck in the 60s Doppler sweep is quiet by and large composite radar and satellite quiet sands some cloud showers still on the doorstep of the North Carolina border so we get to about three o'clock this afternoon we'll watch for a couple waves of showers to perhaps hang on and maybe even a cluster off to the south That'll bring about our highest rain chances, I think, for the next 24 hours late this afternoon and some additional showers possible this evening. That's why we're going to have to scrutinize the WECT First Alert weather app as those cells hold through. Variable clouds for Saturday night. Sunday trending for the most part dry, but we could see a couple of waves of showers off to the south. Just scrape along the Brunswick County coast, and that's really going to be the big thing we'll have to watch even through Sunday night and Monday. Models trending a little more active. I will say uh, models have had a really hard time lately trying to figure out this pattern, so that's why we're going to keep rain chances elevated around 20, 30 at most, 40% even at night. Uh, but notice things trending a little quieter come early next week, Monday and Tuesday. Boy, hello winter, even though it's the first day of spring. 60s and 70s, though, by the middle and end of next week. Bill, back to you.